hey, I'm going to be working with the Be Happy Cut file, which I think was one of the July releases for Confessions of a Paper Addict. Uh, I'm going to play around with the idea of uh, home comforts and that sort of um, helps you to be happy. And I was sitting in my lounge, sort of snuggled up watching a movie with my daughter and her boyfriend and my husband one um, Friday evening, or was it a Saturday, something like that, and just um, was cuddled up in a gorgeous sort of um, mustard-coloured blanket. And when I saw this cup file come out, I thought of this photo that I'd taken just of the blanket and the TV and that cosy setting and thought I would um, use this cup file to talk about sort of the simple things in life that um, help us to feel happy. And so what I have done is I have cut the cut file out in from some black cardstock and I have backed it with um, sort of a mustardy colour cardstock. I just can't think of the name off the top of my head of the cardstock colour, but I'll link that down below. And now I am playing around with some of the papers that I have cut into squares from the Close to My Heart Wanda collection. And um, last month, or the end of last month, Virginia set a challenge on the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group. And part of this challenge was, um, or she asked about the tools that we have in our stash that we don't use very often, and mine was the corner rounder. So what I did was I trimmed down um, pieces of paper down to two inch squares and then I just used that corner rounder to cut off two of the opposite sides to create that sort of shape that you can see there and you'll see just a minute ago that as well as the pattern papers I also used the um, pocket journaling cards as well and cut them up to use in on this layout in the sort of squares on the background so I kind of uh, chose the colors that I felt went with the sort of cozy feeling and now I'm just sort of having a look at the Wanda collection to think of other pieces that might work with it and it's time to stick these down so I am just going to glue down each of these when I'm recording this I'm actually at a scrapbook camp um, in a sort of small um, country town or just out of it actually called Edendale and um, the others in the room were sort of like what on earth is she doing uh, but maybe when they see the video they'll understand what I was working on um, anyway it was just an interesting setting to be doing it in that context so um, I am just gluing down the pieces and putting them in place and as I go I do arrange things but I decide that I want to keep the corner rounded pieces in the same places each time and I will use um, some liquid um, dipping into the um, Dina Wakeley acrylic gloss sprays and I've just pulled out some of the mustardy colours uh, and now just while that dries I'm going to back the cut file uh, that I have already backed with the foam tape and so I've used the thicker foam tape here just to lift it up that little bit more from the page and because the squares have quite a bit of dimension as well so uh, backing some of these smaller pieces was quite tricky and I did have to trim a little bit off later on especially on the B part because it was quite a thin, um, a thin cut file as I went but yeah, just getting all those little pieces there. Perhaps I should have trimmed that down so you didn't have to see me backing or putting that foam tape on all of those. And now you get to watch me peel them off. That's pretty exciting. Anyway, um, I was the scrap camp that I was at was a whole three days. So we started on the Thursday afternoon and we finished um, Sunday just after lunch and um, great time to get away and hang out with others. In New Zealand, we're not in lockdown situations. COVID seems to be fairly well under control, so camps and things like that can still go ahead, and I feel very privileged um, to be able to do this. Uh, I find that scrapbooking with others is a great way to get inspired, see what other people are doing, to chat, and so that it's not sort of an isolated hobby it's something that we do with others uh, so as much as we have online communities and things I think it's great to have a physical community of people that we can create with 
So I'm backing the photograph using uh, one of the Picture My Life cards and also some of the papers that I have used from this Wanda collection as well. I'm really happy this collection was in my hands at the time I was putting this together because it just worked beautifully with the Confessions of a Cub cut file uh, be happy um, cut file and the colors and the story I was trying to tell with all of it just worked together so nicely so I am placing these down I'm not placing it on straight um, some of them are a little bit crooked but I'm always a little bit careful when I put the last one on to make sure that the base frame is actually even now I'm going to curl up each of these uh, edges on the papers and the picture my life card that I used to back this photo. I love doing this just because it adds texture. Um, I think the first time I saw someone doing it was uh, Melissa Vining a few years ago when she was sort of backing and, and curling, turning up the pieces and I'd never really thought to do that. I'd distressed edges and things but not curled up the papers and I just like the, um, the finish that this gives. Anyway, just trying to tuck this down under the um, cut file a little bit and choosing the spot that I like the most. Now these little chipboard frames are part of the die cuts that came with the Wanda collection as well and I just decided that I would use them to add some more interest around the page and just to build on those sort of um, rounded corner shaped squares that I had put on using that corner rounder and now I'm adding the little black bees that were also from this cut file now I didn't back these maybe it was that I'm a little bit of a lazy scrapbooker sometimes but I was also quite happy with their uh, hollowed out or just the outline of them on the on the layout so I'd sort of played around with what it might look like before I stuck all this down and popped it together so I'm just using the Tombow green there to attach those to mostly on some of those little frames and so they've got a little bit of lift within them so there's a few stickers in this um, Wanda collection as well and I'm just pulling out one there that says here now because that just ties in perfectly with that be be happy be be happy where you are kind of thing and so I've just put a little tab down there as a journaling sticker and now I'm going to go through and use some glue dots that I'm sort of semi randomly but also um, thoughtfully placing around the layout and I'm going to add some sequins where I've put each of these little glue dots from the paper roll there so I've got to remember where I put them and afterwards I sort of go back and I uh, think oh where, where was that one where did that fit so I'm just using the paper piercer there to pull them out of the container a little bit and help me to separate them off and just the little bits of gold just remind me of bees and the pollen and the honey that they create as well as that sort of warm cozy feeling of being at home snuggled up watching um watching a movie I th I'm just trying to think which movie it was I think it was sort of reliving an old um, story there of uh, Monty Python and the search for the holy grail so um, a very old movie from my sort of early teenage years um, but it was quite a few laughs and it was pretty good movie choice for the company and for the evening uh, so I've also got some gold gems here that I'm placing around and I popped some of the little julep gems as well around the page there. So I'm just sort of clustering them with the sequins as well as um, just sort of thinking about where they fit for a bit of flow. And I decide that I'm going to add some stitching on there because this ties in with the blanket that I used. And I'm just going to do a series of uh, crosses that look sort of like um, kisses and I've got three of them down the bottom and I've used a friend's sort of golden yellow embroidery floss so I only had a small collection with me but thankfully she had a rather large collection the little um, needle holder that you see there to the left was one that I made for uh, the people who purchased some kits off me at a scrapbook day down in Invercargill 
a couple of months ago um, and I found it super handy and I've noticed that they have too. Most of them keep it in their scrap collection um, so it's pretty cool. So it's just a matchbox kind of cut on the Cricut and then I just stapled in a little square of um, I've forgotten the name of felt. A little square of that fluoro pink felt in there. So now I'm just going over with a clear shimmer brush, the word happy. And you can't really see this in the video, but you do when you look at it up close. It just adds a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of shine to that backed cut file. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out and I hope you've enjoyed having a look at what I've been doing. Have a look at the wee shimmer bits there if it works. And thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and head over to the Confessions of a Paper Addict shop to uh, purchase your Be Happy cut file. Thank you.